Good morning, folks. May I present the monsters? The incoming sunspots are going to be visible now for every telescope with a filter, and if you catch her at sunset without any clouds, you probably don't need a scope to see them. Let's start with an update to the solar pole flip. As of this morning, Stanford is one month behind. As of then, June 1st, the north was back in negative and the flip incomplete. Here we are on July 1st, and did I just see negative force up at the North Pole again? Remember when people were saying it was over months ago? Definitively not. West Pacific took the largest rumbles of the last 24 hours, Japan and New Zealand. Our top weather watch for today goes to the U.S. East Coast. Tropical storm formation intensified, and we now expect the system to track up the coastline, albeit we do not expect a major event at this time. Meanwhile, Douglas and Elida sit off the coast of Mexico, the latter the only one to significantly affect the land for another day or so. As usual, their shear went straight north into the central United States and where we saw this just seven days ago. USGS claims we are now looking something like this. The other water watch charts show we've developed flooding and high river flow conditions in some places as a result. For more days than usual, we've had that northern flow of air into the central states and today that finally changes. The low in Canada shifts east and the convergence will swing up into New England today, bringing our severe storm watch from Arkansas all the way up into Canada. Big day. Europe, Mediterranean will take a moment off and we have three lows north, three convergence lines. They should be easy to see and even easier when you watch the satellite images. Same story down under. Let's get some weather shares from around Perth and the surrounding southwest if we could. Solar wind, another of these anomalous jolts that doesn't do much but for the low energy readings. Shock, streams, and boundary crossings, oh my. The sunspots are getting fun to watch. Up north, we are gaining umbras, gaining size, and while there isn't a ton of flare making mix just yet, it is trending towards a more complex morphology. Down south, the experts call Beta Gamma Delta, and we certainly agree. The lead up north is actually not Delta, but the backside of it splits north and south in the same penumbra, and that flat southern extension forward is Delta as well. We've got even more coming. Thus far, we haven't had any big flares, but the trend is there as well, slowly going up, and we should probably take at least one M flare in the next day, if not more. Coronal holes lost a good bit of force from the last week, but the south still does have a good amount of power and the magnetic connections of Mars, Mercury, and Earth. Remember, the dotted outside line like the one for Venus here denotes a backside connection. So far, all is calm. The storm watches will keep us busy until the flaring starts. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.